hello everyone today we'll talk about a very important concept called as hydrolysis okay one of my student asked about hydrolysis but before teaching hydrolysis i would like to teach you something about hydration okay no hydration when you talk about hydration uh it's a it's a short term which is used in case of solvation solvation is a broad term which is a process in which a particular ion is completely surrounded by solvent molecule now if the solvent molecule is water if the solvent molecule is water then particular process is called as hydration now what happens in hydration suppose there is a cation something called as sodium ion okay then this cation is completely surrounded by water molecule i can give you an example like this suppose this is a sodium cation now it will be completely surrounded by water molecule okay the small circles are representing hydrogen and the bigger one are representing oxygen which is having a negative charge okay and hydrogen carries a positive charge in a similar way chloride ion is also surrounded by water molecule where hydrogen comes at the front since they have positive charge and oxygen goes behind like this in this way oxygen is having a negative charge okay and these two small lines the small circles represents hydrogen atom in this way this particular process is called as hydration so i'll repeat once again in solvation when water when water is used as a solvent then process is called as solvation apart from water any other solvent can also be used okay now i'll come to the important concept that i have to teach is hydrolysis now hydrolysis again is it is a term used under a process called as solvolysis solvolysis is made up of two word the first word is solvent okay and the second one is called as lysis or lysis which means breaking okay a particular substance is broken in presence of solvent then process is called as solvolysis and if the solvent is water then that particular process will be called as hydration hydrolysis okay now for this i can give you an example of nh4 ion suppose it reacts with water molecule and it forms nh4 oh along with h plus ions right along with h plus ions Now in this process, ammonium reacts with water to give a weak base called as ammonium hydroxide. Now you'll be thinking why there is a reversible sign since this base is weak. It dissociates and again combine together to give ammonium. Means this base again dissociate to give the reaction once again. It keep on happening and there is an equilibrium established. We will study this concept under the topic called as ionic equilibrium. Okay. In the same way, an ion also undergoes an ion also undergoes hydrolysis. Uh, I'll take an ion. Uh, I'll take an ion cyanide. Okay, it will form a weak acid HCN and along with a base OH minus. You have to always keep an one thing in your mind: that ion always forms. H plus ion and anion always gives OH minus. I am wrong. One most important thing: the cation and anion of strong acid and base do not participate. in hydrolysis since they are too weak to react